Hi, Els here, and this is part three of solving problems using the accounting equation. In our last video, we solved question three, a complex question that involved three periods, beginning, during, and end. In this video, we'll solve two more complex problems that students often struggle with. By the end of this video, you should have the necessary understanding of how to manipulate the accounting equation so you can attack any accounting equation question you see. As I always point out, read the question once, get the general idea, then read it again, highlighting or underlining the important information. Question four. At the beginning of the year, ABC Company has total assets of 905,000 and total liabilities of 452,000. During the year, ABC's total assets increased by 143,000 and their liabilities decreased by 143,000. What is equity at the end of the year? Okay, read it again, underline what's critical. Question four. At the beginning of the year, ABC Company has total assets of 905,000, total liabilities of 452,000. During the year, ABC's total assets increased by 143,000 and their liabilities decreased by 143,000. What is total equity at the end of the year? You'll notice that this question is similar to question three in that we have information for three different periods, beginning, during, and ending. However, we don't need information about owner's capital, retained earnings, profit, dividends, revenue, or expenses. What we need is three basic accounting equations. Notice that by reviewing the question, we're able to figure out exactly what we need to solve it. So here are the three equations representing three different periods of time and without the details, exactly what we need. We have the beginning, during, and the ending. As in the last video, note that the equations are mathematical equations and as such, they always have to balance. Now, let's fill in what we know and then solve for what we don't know. I'll start at the top and move down. Beginning assets, 905,000. Beginning liabilities, 452,000. Moving to during the year, assets increased during the year by 143,000. Liabilities decreased during the year by 143,000. Okay, I filled in all my knowns. Now I have to solve for my unknowns. Beginning. Solving for equity, I know that it's equal to $453,000. Let's look at during. We need to calculate equity. We have a positive number on one side of the equal sign and a negative number on the other. Unfortunately, this causes students a lot of confusion and many students would answer that equity is equal to zero, which is totally incorrect. Instead, use math to solve for equity, which is 286,000. Let's just be clear on how I got that. When you look at this equation, the equal sign has to balance. And we can see that 286,000 minus 143,000 is equal to 143,000. So we know that this equation works. Can we now calculate the ending balances? Absolutely. We now have an equation that moves down from the top of the page to the bottom of the page. Beginning assets plus increase in assets is equal to ending assets. Ending assets is equal to 1,048,000. Beginning liabilities less the decrease in the liabilities is equal to ending liabilities. Ending liabilities is 309,000. We now have two ways that we could calculate equity. We could calculate equity by using the ending balances and solving for the unknown or using the beginning and during balances to solve for the unknown. If we've done it right, the two should end up with the exact same answer. I'm going to use the beginning and the during. Beginning equity plus the increase in equity is equal to ending equity. Ending equity is 739,000. Our question was, what is ending equity? And the answer is 739,000. We have one more question to go through. Again, a totally different question. Remember that to become proficient at manipulating the accounting equation, you want to do as many different styles of questions as possible. Question five, the following information is provided for you. Total assets, end of period, 145,000. Total liabilities, end of period, 38,000. Owner's capital, end of period, 63,000. Retained earnings, beginning of the period, 24,000. Profit, end of the period, 29,000. What are the dividends at the end of the period? Read it again and underline the important parts. Question five, the following information is provided for you. Total assets, end of the period, 145,000. Total liabilities, end of the period, 38,000. 
Owner's capital, end of the period, 63000 Retained earnings, beginning of the period, 24000 Profit, end of the period, 29000 What are dividends at the end of the period? Just so you know, profit, when they say the end of the period, is really during the period because profit is over a period of time. So we would put that in during, even though they say the profit at the end of the period is equal to 29000 so we need our larger expanded format. Let me just expand that on the page so we can see it clearer. So here again, we have one equation for the beginning, we have one equation for during, and we have one equation for the end. Let's fill in our knowns. Assets, end of the period, 145,000. Liabilities, end of the period, 38,000. Owner's capital, end of the period, 63,000. Retained earnings, beginning of the period, 24,000. Profit for the period. Is 29,000. We have no information about revenues or expenses during the period, so we can ignore these. Wow, this looks complicated. Remember that what we're trying to figure out is dividends for the period. As always, let's solve for what we can solve first. At the end of the year, we can solve for equity. Total equity is 107,000, which is assets minus liabilities. I know that equity is equal to owner's capital and retained earnings, so I can now solve for the retained earnings at the end of the year. Retained earnings is 44000 Okay, we need dividends for the year. How can we get that? Well, we know that the starting or beginning numbers plus or minus the during numbers are always equal to the ending numbers. That's true for assets, liabilities, and equity. So it's bound to be the same for retained earnings. Opening retained earnings plus or minus the during is equal to the ending. So 24000 plus X is equal to 44,000. So in that case, the during retained earnings, the change in retained earnings during the year must be 20,000. Well, can we now solve for dividends? Profit minus dividends is equal to retained earnings. That means that 29,000 minus some number for dividends is equal to 20,000. That means that dividends are equal to $9,000. The answer we were looking for. So, what is the key to solving questions involving the accounting equation? Practice. Make sure you get as much practice as possible by completing all of the questions in the textbook. For our next video, we'll be analyzing the impact of individual business transactions on the accounting equation.